We saw the steps we're gonna be following, I'll be describing each of them briefly. So we want to start always with a primer. And as I mentioned before, you want it white or white just to get the colors showing up better. Then you want a base layer. This is gonna be paint, acrylic paint or whatever you're using. And it needs to be something darker and a with a little bit of a red undertone. So you don't want something very yellow or very tanned. You want it a little bit red. Then we're gonna move on to highlight uh, pretty much the center of the face and you're gonna achieve that by mixing the color you already used with something a little bit lighter. And this will start giving a 3D effect on the face and not having it just one flat color. We're gonna define whatever details are in the skin, eye sockets and around the eyes, any wrinkles if your character has anything or any uh, lines or the lips in case you're not planning on using a separate color as a lipstick. Then we're gonna move on to the pastels and uh, you'll see the biggest transformations in your model when you start doing those steps. So we're gonna shade and contour, pretty much bringing out the bone structure and the uh, full 3D effect. And then we're gonna bring a little bit of life into the face, especially via the reds in the cheekbones uh, and all around the nose, the eyes, the lips, uh, and all throughout the skin in case you're having a full scale model. And after you finish with everything else, so don't try to do it beforehand, you want to seal the model and you want to seal it with uh, something uh, which is called satin finish. I will recommend a specific type of satin, just uh, uh, test it before on, um, on a failed print or whatever, because not all settings are equal. And some of them, what's being called setting, it's actually very glossy and you'll get a very doll-like effect and you don't want that. You want, you don't want it matte, that's for sure, because they look very bad, they look like they have too much uh, foundation on. And uh, you don't want it to glossy either. You want something in between. The one I'm, I will be recommending is the perfect one. And you'll notice that it will make a lot of difference. So the uh, step number five with the pastels and step the, the step which is uh, uh, at the end with sealing with satin finish makes all the difference in the world in how your model will look. These are the tools you'll be needing. Uh, starting from a primer, white or off white. Then for the base colors, we're going uh, with uh, a darker red tone color and then something like a neutral and we'll actually be mixing them together and you can mix and match them based on how uh, your character is. These are the ones uh, I'm using. I highly recommend this set, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, they're very helpful, many colors, and they blend beautifully. For brushes, you don't need anything fancy. You just need anything that's being called a, ba a base brush or uh, something that holds a little bit of more paint and something, uh, anything that uh, can act like a dry brush. You can even use an actual dry brush. In order to give some definition to the elements of the face, especially eye sockets and lips for women, we're going to be using a watercolor pencil and a very small brush and a Q-tip, just wipe off anything that's, uh, that's extra. For contouring and shading, we're going to be using pastels and you want a dark brown and a dark purple together with a small uh, flat brush. And in order to give uh, some color to the face, you'll be using an orange or a yellowish orange. This is optional only if you want. And we'll be need needing a red, that's for sure. And a very messy damaged brush because you want actually for the red an uneven application. And you're gonna need a varnish. Uh, make sure it's set in finish. If you can find the brand and the model that I put on the screen, that would be ideal. This gives a very beautiful finish. If not, anything set in, but make sure to test it because some of them are actually very glossy, although they are supposed to be settings. You wanna start with a base, with a primer, and uh, it's ideally for it to be white or an off-white, just for the following colors to pop up better. The more important thing is not to make the layer too thick, so you don't cover any of the details. Don't, don't worry too much if it's tricky, because we're gonna be covering up, it up anyway.
Up next, we're gonna play our first layer of paint, and uh, I just put, put some on the palette for you to understand uh, what type of color you want. So you want something way darker than uh, your character's complexion, and you want it with a little bit of red inside it. It's uh, gonna go in all the recesses, in all the wrinkles, and in all the pores, and then we're gonna come on top with some lighter colors. And after this step, what's uh, important is that you let it dry, at least I would say half an hour. So you want uh, everything to be real dry before you move to the next one. Usually I do the primer for the hair as well at this point, because that's something else that will need to dry quite a bit. And uh, just uh, leave your scalp, uh, sculpture alone for a bit. Now we're gonna move on to the dry brush, and for the dry brushing we're gonna mix uh, your initial color with something lighter. Just try for the light color to be something neutral, so no, nothing to red, nothing to pink, nothing to yellow. You just want to get a lighter version of what you already have. Wipe the excess on, on a napkin because we're dry brushing, and dry brush top uh, to bottom primarily. And whenever you have flat uh, surfaces, like the forehead, like the mouth area, we're going to go left to right as well. You want to concentrate it in the middle and uh, go from the center of the face uh, towards the perimeter. And make sure that you don't touch the eye area especially. You want that to remain a little bit darker. Don't forget the ears, don't forget the side of the jaw. And uh, as I mentioned, just focus on the middle. Now, for any wrinkles or uh, lines, let's say, in your character's face, you want to use, again, a watercolor pencil, or you can use a pastel if you want. Make sure it's a dark purple. Make sure it's a gray dark uh, purple, so we need something cool tone. You just wet uh, your brush. You pick up some color from the pencil or the pastel. Make sure it's very diluted and just go around the eyes and into any other wrinkles. So if you want to do like the lips, for example, and not use uh, a separate color as a lipstick, you're just gonna use that and wipe off the excess with a Q-tip. If you happen to apply too much, that's the advantage of the watercolor pencil. You're just gonna either wipe it with a Q-tip or, or wet your brush with just some water and pick up the color. Now we want to move on to, uh, to the shading and the contouring of the face. You want to use again uh, a dark purple, a cool tone dark purple and a brown. We're going to apply it around the perimeter of the face in, the, in this she shape uh, especially. So from the uh, forehead underneath the cheekbone, basically carving out the features. So under the cheekbone, under the jawline all to, and all towards the perimeter of the face. Once we are moving in around the eyes, you want to use a, a little bit of, of the lighter color underneath and a little bit of a darker color uh, on top of the eye, so under the brow, brow bone. You can also do shading in any recessed area that the character may have, like the nasolabial folds underneath the lips, or uh, any time uh, the hair meets the skin, for example, you want to do a little bit of shading. Mostly you want to be using the purple. You want to go in purple and brown as far ahead on the perimeter of the face that you are. So when you're lateral, you're going to go darker. As you move towards the center of the face, you're going to go lighter. 
and always try to follow, you see, this C shape that will basically carve out uh, your features. Up next, I just brush something yellowish across the forehead for a little bit of color. Now we're gonna add the blush to the skin, and we're actually gonna add it uh, around the eyes as well. You can be a little bit heavier. Also around the nose, around the nostrils, and obviously around the cheeks. Then you can also add it pretty much all throughout the face, obviously across the lips if you're not planning on doing lipstick, and then lightly, very lightly on the other parts of the face, the like forehead, around the mouth and everything. If you have printed a body and you are painting a character's body, also remember to do the same all throughout the body. So you need it light, you need it soft, but you need to break out, uh, to break off that uh, color that you have lied down and just put some, uh, some red and some blood underneath it. And at the very end, just seal off the full model with some satin varnish to make it look like skin. So that's it. Thank you, everybody. Please, uh, if you have any questions, put them below in the comments. Uh, or if you are painting anything using this method, I would love to see it. Link, link it as well below in the comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.